So the other day in a video, I guess I had mentioned something about a crate that I use when I DJ. And some people didn't know what I was talking about. So let's talk about crates today. Uh, but first, a history lesson. So back in the old days, whether you were a club or mobile DJ, you were spinning records. And as you know, most DJs have a lot of music. So back then, DJs had a lot of records. And they needed a way to carry them from gig to gig. So somebody along the way discovered that these milk crates that you could find behind the grocery store that dairies deliver milk with were a great way to carry 12 inch records. They don't weigh much. Okay, they weigh a lot when you put a bunch of records in here, but very easy and available. Now there were other DJs like my friend Mike Guy who built these beautiful stackable crates. And once you had your records in crates, this was a great time to organize them. Some DJs organized by BPM, others by genre, some alphabetical. It was really up to you how you put your crates together. It was very much a personal preference. So when companies like Serato and Virtual DJ and Rekordbox started making software, they wanted to make this an easy transition for DJs. So not only could you search for music, which was a pretty new feature, but you could also create your own custom folders or crates. In Virtual DJ, they're called folders. And if I click on this one, this is my line dance folder and it shows some line dance songs that I can choose from. Real easy way to organize. I can remove these, I can add more, and they're virtual folders. It's not like I've got copies or doubles of these songs. They're just a different way to organize the files I already have in these virtual folders or virtual crates. Now there's one thing I don't hear a lot of DJs talk about. When we went from physical crates or CD boxes or whatever to completely digital stuff on the computer, I lost visual cues. And what I mean by that is I used to thumb through my crates a lot just to kind of see what I had and what I might want to play for the next track. It's like I have no idea what I want to play instead of just, you know, thinking of a track. This was a really good way to get inspired. Oh yeah, I forgot about this record. Let's play this next. You don't get that so much with the digital stuff. You do a little bit, I guess. They do have thumbnails and things, but it's not the same. So having said all that, coming from the days of record crates and CD boxes where I could visually see things and get inspired, when I went digital, which was probably about 15 years ago, for some reason, I didn't build any virtual folders or virtual crates. I took it as a personal challenge to just come up with the songs off the top of my head and pay attention to the requests and just watch the crowd and, and use this instead of a visual cue. And it's made me a different DJ. I'm glad I did it. Now, I'll admit that I do have some file folders, but that's primarily for my backup. I have an Amazon Fire HD 10 that I use as a backup, and I don't have it full of every song that I have. I try to keep the hottest tracks in there. And when a track pops up that's really hot, I add it to this folder that I keep on my desktop and then I add it to the Fire HD 10. There's also certain instances where I'm not really familiar with the music like I should be that a crowd wants. Believe it or not, I do very well with tropical Latin. So salsa, merengue, pachata, reggaeton, but I don't do very well with Mexican Tex-Mex music. I know it's the same language, but it's not the same music so I do have a cheat folder for that. When I'm doing an event where I need those particular line dances or whatever, I can go to that folder and say, oh yeah, that track, because I'm just not familiar with them enough. So in that regard, the virtual crates or virtual folders do help me, but I try not to use them all the time. Now, somebody had asked me earlier to share my crates with them so they could see what was in my crates. And it's not that I'm guarded. I don't want you to get the wrong idea here. I want to share everything I have with you, but having said that, crates are very personal in the regard that they are for you as an artist. What I have in my crates is probably not what you would put in your crates. I mean, not entirely. We all have the Mobile Beat Top 200. We can type that into Google and look at it and grab those songs and have them. Those are the easy tracks. But some of the stuff in my folders, have nothing to do with the Mobile Beat Top 200, but they're working for some reason at my events, in my region, with the types of events that I do. So I don't want to really share my folders. I want to encourage you 
to create your own and be your own DJ, be an artist and come up with those tracks that are important to you and you want to try at your events or that work at your events because they might not be the same as mine. I don't want to mislead anybody with my crates. So anyway, that's it. That's crates. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.